Welcome back to Clash of Kings. Uh, it's the uh, Game of Thrones add-on, or should I say, a Song of Ice and Fire add-on. If you remember last time, we uh, got into a little bit of a fight and got captured. Uh, wasn't too much fun, but hopefully we should escape. There we go. We have now escaped. So let's see if we still got our kit. Ah, we still got our stuff. No bother. I think we need to get away from this one bandit, even though I'm sure I could take him myself. That guy behind him will get him anyway. I have to try and get all my guys back again. Oh dear. Well, what do you do if you fall? You get straight back up. Storm's pass, we'll get some more guys. Hopefully we'll get some gold. Yeah, plenty. to get a lot more guys before we can head up and join good old Rob Stark in the north. Seems to be a lot of guys running around. Right, let's see where we are. So, doing anything with Storm's End? Go to the tavern maybe. I don't think I can trade automatically yet until I've got some guys who uh, can trade for me so I'll just sell everything I've got. Don't need any of this stuff. Get some gold to get some more peasants to train up into proper fighters. More guys, come on. I think we need oh, hello. I think we need some brigands to fight so we can level up a little bit. We'll go over here and see if I can get any Lannister men at arms rather than just filling my team full of Storm's End people. Raymond Frey of Rivers of Defeat in Battle. <laughs> Good old things. Right, I'll work my way inland a little bit before going north, see what I can find. 17 wages. Big spender, me. Nothing but the best. Oh, what have we got here? I can level up. Going for a stroll, you spot a lonely silhouette in the distance. Coming closer, you notice that. What appears to be a small woman or maybe a child in a skinny horse. The horse stumbles and throws off the rider who appears to be unconscious. You make your way to the bundle on the ground but recoil when oh, you see what lies before you. The corpse of a young girl. Both ears cut off and her eyes taken out. As you lower your eyes you see that the rest of her body is equally mutilated. With both breasts cut off. Oh, it's too much for me to read. Disgusting. Surely the work of the Lannisters. Or maybe the phrase, just because I don't like them. Ditcher. So this seems to be... Oh, hello, looters. I'll get them. This is the Reach. The fertile lands. Held. Oh, one. Run for days after this guy. Ah, see, he's got quite a lot of prisoners, so if I can catch him, I can get myself some more levies. There we go. Surrender or die, scum. Nice hat. Charge. I think I'll run with my troops here. 
So it seems I've got some different troops here. Some Riverlands troops. As well as a couple of strange... Ah, okay. So it's Stormland troops and maybe a couple Riverland troops, maybe? Against six looters. So it shouldn't be too hard for me. Pick this guy off with a big hat. Yeah, come on, we got a big stick. Hey, leave him alone, he's mine. Get my way. Ah, I stole my kill. What a bastard. Oh well. So now I can get all these guys, hire them all. Saves me having to. Saves me having to um, get more and train them up. Although they aren't even trained up. But the spearmen, there's seven guys that are already trained up. So it saves me a little bit of work. These guys can upgrade. Anything interesting? I'll take the, the stuff that's worth a little bit of money. Because I need to sell it on. Where am I now? Seems I've run all the way through the oh. Riverlands. I need to go up here. So, well, it looks like Lannister is doing quite well. And the Riverlands also. Let's go to Tumbleton. Seems to be the nearest city. Thankfully, there's a nice road to run along. Still riding good old Pegasus. He's lost his horn though. I think they must have sold it for, uh, for their drug money or something when they captured me. Go and see. Can you hear that, guys? Lord Patrick Footley. Never heard of him before. Go to the tavern. Who have we got here? Levy, no thanks. No, I don't think I can afford him. Fiennor, oh, Colin the Mute. <laughs> okay, so he can't say anything. He's a mute. Reply with nothing. You seem lost. Might as well join me. Um, yeah, 50 dinars. And you can talk now. <laughs> Good. Give me a few moments of prayer and I'll be ready for a move. So he's not really a mute, or is he? Maybe it's just a glitch, I'm not sure. Greeting traveller, I'm Sir Fianor Osgrin, a knight and son of Sir Edwin Osgrin of Standfast. Uh, well done. Good good for you, Mr. Osgrin. <laughs> I'm the fifth son of father, Lord Hermer, as such he's, he's fit to... Uh, somewhat unlikely I'll ever inherit anything of the value. So I've been travelling the world these last eight months trying to find a noble lord I might swear my allegiance to. It has become a bit of a tradition that the youngest sons of Osgrey family ride out on the day they receive their knighthood. My family has proven itself to be quite a fertile one. <laughs> I have uncles and great uncles, nephews and brothers in abundance. Mind the Lord Frey has fathered many sons. My oldest brother... Uh, blah blah blah, are they in Heart Sandfast? So and so, so, so. But that leaves little for my father's remaining children, so we must make our own fortune. Uh, to get, I think you'll be wanting a fortune from me uh, if you're a, a knight already. Probably a few thousand. Which reminds me, do you by any chance need a sworn sword by your side? I'm no Jamie Lannister nor Knight of Flowers. But I do find myself somewhat adequate with a lance and sword. Adequate. It's not the greatest, is it? I want some proper good guys. <sighs> Knight of a cold herb. Let's see what he wants. Make yourself ready and I'll be in our way. Very good, man. Before we have our I, I suppose 4,000 silver coins would be fair. Uh, no, I don't think so. 4,000 coins for one guy. It's a tad greedy. 
still can't sell automatically. Oh, whoops. Went the wrong one. Marketplace again, and I'll sell everything manually. Don't need any of it. Hundred and ninety-one coins. I'll do my guys for a while. So I think it's time to head north. Onwards. Okay, I can see King's Landing away in the distance there. Looks like quite a formidable place. Fifty-one coins a week. I've got enough. Could do with some more though. Let's see, Colin the Mute. Let's see what he's doing. Skills. What's he good at? Okay, so looks like he is an archer. And um, what else has he got? Tracking, that's useful. Pathfinding and spotting, very useful. So we can now see marks on the map, which is which helps to see uh, where all the big bands of people are going. Doesn't have much yet, but we can upgrade him as we go on. Nothing in his inventory. Okay, so let's go to King's Landing, shall we? See if good old Tywin Lannister is sitting waiting for us. Thankfully just now I'm not aligned to anyone, so no one should attack me. Unless they are brigands or evil clans. Well, I wouldn't say evil, just clans. The likes of Shaga we've seen. Oh, Visenya's landing's being raided. Wonder who that was. Probably someone from the Riverlands. The phrase, no doubt. There's good old Tywin himself. Lost a bit of his hair. Tavern, let's see if there's anyone in the tavern. Oh, there's Colin. Hello, Colin. Just running around crazy. Dothraki Screamer. And a Westerlands Levy. Nothing of real interest. Although, Dothraki Screamers might be fun to have over this side of the sea. Seven for 1,280. No thanks. Right, onwards, north. 32 guys in my band. That should be quite enough to uh, keep any looters at bay. or Maybe there's some wildlings kicking around. I don't know who's on this area. Outlaws, there we go. See if we can catch these outlaws, chase them all the way north. Three days of food left. This guy is putting up a right chase as we pass Plowman's Hill and Harren Hall. And a load of caravans get out the way. I give up. The silent beach. Need some food. Mm. Cabbages. Chicken. Pork. I don't know how long this stuff lasts, but I think cabbages might last slightly longer than the meat, so I'll get that for just now. Nothing worse than. Uh, oh, farms. William Mooton. There's nothing worse than running out of food. And then your guys just are not very happy with you. Walder Frey, eh? Everyone loves a big Walder Frey. Who's this? Ah, the Brotherhood Without Banners. Pink. Beric Dundarian, Angry the Archer, Thoros of Mir, Lem, Lemon Cloak. Oh, I'd love to have them with me, but I think they might just attack me. Who is this? So this is the Riverlands already. There's the inn. The Aries over there. River run at the top. 
Hmm. So, if I want to go north and join Rob Stark, these will be my allies. Or it would be in the book. I don't know how it works out here. Farmers, The farmer's colour looks very similar to Outlaws. It's kind of confusing. I'm doing a lot of travelling. Six days of food. Plenty of food. A lot of travelling this episode. Not the most exciting. I do apologise. I need to get a fight soon. So it's kind of boring. But hopefully, when I get up north, it'll all be worth it. I'll join Rob Stark and his men, and we can start destroying the Lannisters. What the hell is this? No idea. Destroy the Lannisters, and then, well, you've still got the uh, two Baratheon brothers to contend with. Oh, raiders. Hello, raiders. Would you like to perhaps die? Oh, they look to me and ran. Look at all these arrows. There must have been quite a lot of guys walking past here. Ah, we've also got the Iron Islanders to contend with. If we were to join Rob Stark. Oh, this guy's got some decent looking armor. Hopefully I can take him out with very little deaths on my side. Look at my guys. Where are you going? Charge. It's a motley crew mixed together with... Oh, ah, here's this guy. Look at them on their swords. It's a good thing I've got all my Lancer men. Because they are... Uh, extra good at killing men on horses. The lances, I think, give double the damage of what a normal weapon would have done on with people on horseback. A little arrow to the knee there. One guy down. Oh, he's down. There's Colin running with no weapons, just running barefisted at them. There's another horseman. Leave some for me. No, oh, Levy was killed by the raider leader, so I think it's just the leader left on his sword. Come here, you heathen. Good armor, so I can't really make much damage to him. 23 damage to the horse, though. If we get him off the horse, it should make it easier to take him down. There you go. See, these guys know exactly what my tactics are. I think your time is up, sir. Looks like I'm going to get his decent armor. Zero damage delivered. Nice. Ten damage. So you can see the benefit of having good armor when you've got about 10 guys around you trying to hit you, but none of them can do damage. A fine victory, men. So that's the spoils. So we've got a Veil Spearman we can hire, a veteran, oh, a Riverlands Pikeman we can take, a veteran Riverlands Pikeman. He should be useful in a fight. Farmers, peasant, woman. I think I'll just let them go. Uh, archer or spear. So we'll get some more veteran spearmen. And if we grade these guys. Good. Can I capture? No, I can't capture. So now I can access the item pool myself. Or I can manage Colin's upgrades. So he's going to be a bowman. Give him bow. And also one-handed weapon and shield as a backup, just in case. 
so you can automatically upgrade his armor and his horse once I've had the spoils in there. And that should be good. Good. Um, yes, I need that as the first. Ah, look, new fancy shield. Get rid of that one. Get this nice size 79, resistance 2. Not great, but it's a lot better than um, the hubcap I had before. Plonk that on. And oh yeah. 73, what have I got now? It's a lot better. And Colin can upgrade, he can use what he likes. And then everyone else collects what's left. It's good to have someone else, so now I can just collect everything for me. And uh, I can sell it on. But that's us almost there. We'll upgrade these guys, get some archers, and then probably head to the twins and just spend the night over at the crossing, the twins. Because nothing bad can happen, hopefully there's no weddings on. And we'll all be good. A little battle happening there. But if you want to see more, like and leave a comment, and I'll see you next time.